This week, we're going to work on CER paragraphs. Uh, claim, evidence, and reason is what the CER stands for. That would be really cool. Sorry if I had the thing like Miss Chua does, and it was CER. I'm not that fancy yet. Anyway, sorry, sidetracked. I know a lot of your teachers are having you write um, paragraph answers either on Google Doc, on Common Lit, on your responses uh, for questions. And this is just something that can help you in general anytime you're answering a question. Um, a few things to remember first about paragraphs. So I know you know a little bit about paragraphs, like their length, right? Hopefully you said uh, they're usually four to six sentences in length. Also, one thing that I think sometimes scholars get confused on is that a paragraph, remember that four through six sentences, it should be about one topic, a specific topic. You shouldn't jump from one topic to another within those four to six sentences. And also remember, what is this? Ah. Paragraphs are always indented. So as you see, the indent is like you're pushing it over. And that's easy to see, too, when you're writing a whole essay. You can distinguish each paragraph, which is about four to six lines about one topic. Yay! So when we're talking about CER paragraphs, CER is an acronym. It stands for CLAIM evidence and reasoning dun, dun, dun. and it's actually going to be how your paragraph is formatted also so in your claim you are answering your question that's the first sentence of your paragraph i know a lot of scholars when they start answering they'll just say so or i think your topic sentence your main sentence should have the complete sentence answer to the question. Then you're going to give your evidence. Your evidence is textual, textual evidence based from what you read or the article, the story, if you were talking about a movie, like in my example, it would be evidence from the movie. And then your reasoning, that is you are going to explain in your words how it supports your claim, how your evidence supports your claim. I decided to again go with a Finding Nemo example. So the question at hand is, should Nemo's father Marlin be held responsible for Nemo's disappearance? Hopefully many of you have seen the movie so you are able to have that background information. So we start with our claim. Our claim is answering the question in one complete sentence. So remember our question was, should Marlin be held responsible? So my answer, Nemo's father, Marlin, should not be held responsible for Nemo's disappearance in the ocean. And I added just a little extra. Notice I have to correct my spelling because I typed a little too fast on that one. Next, you have your evidence. You're giving two pieces of evidence from the text or image or anything that you decided to make your claim. So evidence. From the beginning of the movie, Marlin has told Nemo that he needs to remain by his side and be cautious in the dangerous ocean. That is my first piece of evidence coming directly from the movie. When Nemo was at the top of, his, of the drop-off with his friends, Marlin told him, You shouldn't be anywhere near here. Oh, Marlin, see, that's why we always need to read our work. Okay, so both of these, my pieces of evidence, are specific examples from the movie. I even put the quotations here, which is great whenever you are adding evidence. So next we have our reasoning, right? The R. How does what I said support my answer? So here I am explaining it. These lines prove that Nemo had been told multiple times by his father that he should not be swimming away at the drop-off. Marlin did all that he could to try to keep his son safe, but Nemo didn't listen and went away on his own. And as you know, that is what happened. He got taken by the scuba diver. So actually seeing it 
in a paragraph form. Notice again, here is the claim, the question, I'm sorry, and then I have my paragraph is indented. I have my first line, which is my claim. Ah, it's hard to see with the yellow. Okay, and then my next two lines are my pieces of evidence. There we go. And then my last lines are my reasoning. Sorry, that is really not the best color to use. I apologize. But as you notice, this is a way for you to self-check. Do you have a claim? I could just do it and see. Do you have your evidence? And do you have your reasons? I found this lovely uh, file that gives you some sentence stems or sentence starters on your sentences. So I am going to see if I can upload this to the comment box. And if I can't figure it out, then I will for sure sh uh, send it to Miss Beisman so that she can have it on her Google Classroom page. But these sentence starters are great if you're struggling how to start your sentences within your paragraph. And as you probably know already, we miss you guys so very much. We hope you're staying safe and cannot wait to see you next year.